Moving on to the C cup, we're going to use our anise tea outliners to make it as crispy as possible. I always start off at the bottom and work our way to the top arch. I slowly feed the hair into the trimmer and make sure it's cut. Now we're moving on to the front line. Usually I debulk with the one guard all the way open, but the hair was already low, so I just went in with my anesthesia outliners and started off in the middle and worked our way to the sides. Every time I line up, I slowly feed the trimmer into the hair, making sure it cuts every bit. Also, when doing someone's mustache, you want to make sure you don't press as hard because the teeth of the trimmer could bite their lip. Sometimes there's flyaway hairs near the vertical bar, so freehanding it is best. Now we're going to saturate the hair and prep it for our shear work. Once I grab a piece of hair and show them what length we want to cut and we both agree on it, then make that same guideline around the whole head and connect it to the sides.
Now that we're done with our shear work, we're gonna move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and we're gonna make them as crispy as possible. Before you use the blade, you always want to make sure you apply shave gel and also when you're using the razor, you want to keep it at a 45 degree angle while you're stretching the skin as much as possible. 